Hello, kids. I didn't notice you at all. Hi, Dad. What are you doing? I'm cleaning the garage. Oh. Huh? I've gathered some junk that we'll have to throw away later. I'll be right back. <laughs> Maybe it's a magic carpet? Huh? Oh. The one that can fly. Oh. Abracadabra. Here's your lunch. <laughs> 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 
You need to eat vegetables. Uh. Carrot improves your vision. Potato makes you stronger. Broccoli helps you to grow. Uh. Huh. We will gain powers like heroes if we eat vegetables. Heroes, yeah. Come, come. Mm. Oh, did you change your mind? Um, um, um. Yes, vegetables make us stronger. We will now eat more vegetables. What great news! <laughs> <laughs> Boxes here. Yeah. yeah. We have to recycle them. I'll get them ready, then you can help me. Yay! Yeah! Ta da! Wow! 
Now, let's play Castle Clash. Yay! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Not exactly what I meant when I asked you to help. Oops. Sorry, Grandpa. That's okay. We have plenty of time. Want to play garbage collectors? Yeah. yeah. Let's put the boxes in the recycling bin. Yay! would fly away. Uh, the nose flew away. That's interesting. Huh? What? Where? What where? Where is your nose? Huh? A dog's. Well, maybe you'll like it. Candies. There aren't. What about your pockets? Oops. Help yourselves. Oh. Well, 
Well done, Mimi. Look what we found. Huh? We found an elephant's trunk. Huh? Try it on while we find yours. Oh, uh. Oh. Uh. You need to hold it higher. Huh? Well, how is it? Uh -huh. <gasps> Careful. Seek. Uh, one, three. I'll help you count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Theo, go look for them. Theo has to find where Mimi and Dee Dee are hiding. Not here. Mimi and Dee Dee aren't under the table. There's no one behind the curtain. Huh? Theo, what if you look upstairs? Maybe they're under the bed. They're not under the bed. <sighs> Whoa. What was that weird noise? Not here. Dee Dee and Mimi aren't behind the curtain. <sighs> huh? Another weird noise. Who's doing that? Uh. <laughs> Found you! <laughs> Theo found his friends. We thought you weren't going to find us. We thought you'd think we were toys. Mimi started using her imagination, and Dee Dee joined in. Or you'd think we left. Ah. about the two of you look for Theo instead. But Theo doesn't know how to hide. I'm sure he'll figure it out. Cover your eyes and count. One, One two, two, three. three. 
Oh no! They'll definitely find him here! Four, five, six, six seven. seven. Theo, come here! Eight, nine, ten! Ready or not, here we come! Ah. Uh, hmm. He's not under the table. But he always hides under the table. Maybe you should look upstairs. I know where he is. In the toy basket. Oh. Theo's not in the toy basket. But... So, where could he be? Dad, we can't find Theo. Uh-oh. Where could he be? <laughs> oh, I think there's something in this newspaper about Theo. Ta-da! Theo! Found ya! <laughs> oh, Theo, what a great hiding place. <laughs> Theo was behind the newspaper all along. so red in the sun that his friends didn't even recognize him. Theo, it is Dee Dee. He's just mm. sick. Phew. Okay, I'm just sick. Wait, what? Huh? I'm sick? I think so. But don't worry, Dee Dee. Let's go see Dr. Wolf and find out what's wrong. Uh, I don't want to. I'll just wait for you guys here. Don't be scared. Dr. Wolf is nice. Hi, Dr. Wolf. Dee Dee is sick. He's all red. Hi, kids. Let's see what's going on. Dee Dee, have a seat. Open up and say, ah. Uh... Uh, huh? Great. Now, wait a sec. I'll be right back. You're turning green. Wow, it must be this magic wand. It made you change colors. What if? Looks like Mimi and her friends are about to go on an imagination adventure. Let's give this a shot. Ta-da! <laughs> Whoa! The sun is red. Mimi, can I try? <laughs> the sky is yellow. Wow, I want to try. The grass is blue. Yay, I am Dee Dee the Great and Terrible. I'm Magic Mimi. I'm Theo the Wizard! Bibbidi! Bobbidi! Boo! Yay! Yay! Magic! Oh. 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 Okay, Dee Dee, let's see what we got. Oh, uh. it looks like you were in the sun for a long time. Uh. Have some water. Dr. Wolf? This magic wand turned Dee Dee from red to green. <laughs> Mimi, that's not a magic wand. Mm. It's a thermometer. I use it to help me determine if someone is sick or not. You see, when someone gets sick, 
their body starts fighting the infection. <laughs> which makes the overall body temperature go up. This line here on the thermometer shows the temperature. If the temperature is higher than the norm, that means the patient has a fever. So, you should take medicine and drink lots of water. But Didi's temperature is normal. He's red because he overheated in oh. the sun. Yay! I'm healthy! Thank you, Dr. Wolf. You're welcome, Dee Dee. But kids, remember, playing in the sun for too long is dangerous. Be sure to spend plenty of time in the shade. Of course. We'll just play at my house. Mm -hmm. Bye, Dr. Wolf. Bye. Be safe. <laughs> now, Mimi, Theo, and Dee Dee know what a thermometer is. Even though it's not a magic wand, they still had a magical day. This is my first time sleeping somewhere other than my house. It's time for bed. Uh, this nightlight will keep you safe at night. I'm flying to bed. Whoa! Huh? What was that? The light turned the wall clear! A bird lives in the apartment next door! We just saw it! Mimi loves using her imagination. Her friends are always happy to play along. But a bird doesn't live next door. Maybe this bird lives at the end of the ray of light. And it just wanted to say hi to us. Hi, Birdie. Nice to meet you. Do you have any friends? Of course she does. They're playing together. They're just like us. We should invite them to the next sleepover. Yeah! The kids were having such a fun conversation <laughs> that they didn't even notice Grandpa <laughs> D coming back into the room. Why are you talking instead of sleeping? We made some friends. There were three of them in here. They live all the way over there. But they flew away. They must be shy. Friends? All the way over there? They flew away? Oh, I see. Is that your friend? Yeah, it's a bird. Where are the other two? Grandpa D was having so much fun that Mimi actually noticed what he was doing. Hold on, Grandpa D! Are you making our friends with your hands? That's right, Mimi. Good eye. How are you doing that? Using a shadow. A shadow? Shadows are the result of light sources. Can you name a few? The sun. Light bulbs. A candle. You got it. See? You kids are so smart. So, rays of light can move until they bump into something that's in their way. Cool! But they can go through clear things. Like water. Or glass. That's right. So, when the light hits something that's not transparent, like our hands, it makes a dark spot. And that spot is called a shadow. So, like, when we go outside and the sun leaves a trail behind me? Yes, that's exactly right. Awesome. And now, we can use shadows to tell a bedtime story about your birdie friend. Wow! A, a bedtime, bedtime story about, about a bird. A bird was flying and saw her friend, a bunny. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to bed. What a great day. The kids learned all about shadows. This was the best slumber party ever. <laughs>